Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the concept of addition where we're going to take a sentence and transform it into an algebraic expression. We're going to concentrate on addition and so we're looking for keywords that would then trigger in our mind the concept that there's an addition in, at play here. So we want to take the sentence and convert it to an algebraic expression and we see the word sum here in the first sentence the sum of an unknown number n16. We see the word sum, that typically means addition, and there's going to be two things, an unknown number and the number 16, and we can let the number, the unknown number, be represented by x. So therefore, that can then be the expression x plus 16, that's the sum of two things, an unknown number and the number 16. Over here, it tells us to write an expression where we have six more than a number. More again implies addition. An unknown number, even though we don't say the word unknown, there's a number there, but we don't know what it is, so it is unknown, so we can let's call it x, and then we want to add six to that, so that expression would then be x plus six, that means we take a number, and then we want six more than that, so we add six to that unknown number. The next expression, a number increased by 13. Again, the word increased implies addition. We take a number, it is then increased by 13, so then we can simply write this as x plus 13. The next statement says a number added to four times the number. So we have a number, then we take four times that number, and then we add a number to that. Hmm, are those the same number? If they are the same number, a number added to four times d number, the word d implies that this number must be the same as that number. So if that's what's implied, and again we look for keywords to help us figure that out, then we can say we take the number x, we want four times that number, which is 4x, and now we read a number added to four times d number, so we need to add the number to it, so the x plus 4x, and that would be the proper expression. Of course, x plus 4x is equal to 5x. So here again, we take a number and we add it to 4 times d number, applying the same number. So 4 times the unknown number is 4x, add the number to that, that's x plus 4 times the number. And finally, we have 2 more than 5 times the number. So we have an unknown number, we take that number and we multiply times 5 because we want 5 times the unknown number and then we want to add 2 more to that. So that expression then would imply we have 2 added to 5 times the number. So that's where we recognize where we need to add something. The sum more than increased by added to and 2 more, all implications that yes we need to make some sort of addition and then we turn that into an algebraic expression. And that's how it's done.